FAA is reporting an increase of drunk and disorderly passengers. The number of incidents is down from the pandemic, but still very high when compared to pre-pandemic levels. Drunk passengers can face fines, jail time, travel restrictions. Often the incidents begin in the airport with passengers who've had too much to drink. Now Aid on Your Side has obtained body camera video showing just how bad some of these incidents are. News Channel H Jeff Patterson joining us there now live. And Jeff, the video pretty shocking. Yes, they are. Good evening, Melissa and Josh. Many of these videos recorded by Tampa International Airport police officers show passengers who are drunk, some who become out of control, and some who become violent. But many of the incidents begin pretty innocently. It's just another day at Tampa International Airport when airport police officers are called to a bar because a man has had too much to drink and keeps falling off of his bar stool. You don't have to get arrested. Why am I getting arrested? <laughs> you're not getting arrested. I'm just talking to you because I heard you're being a little intoxicated, causing oh, some so problems, sorry. and then you fell. I'm so sorry. Everything looks calm, and although we are blurring the man's face, he's even smiling as officers tell him he won't be flying today. I'm telling you, if you go to the gate in the state you're in, they're not going to let you fly. Okay. Uh, well. Then suddenly, things take a violent turn, and the man ends up under arrest. I'm better than that. Yeah. 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 Man, there's two ways you're going to go back, either in handcuffs or you're going to walk back. Tampa Airport Police Chief Charlie Vasquez says it's often a combination of factors that lead to the arrest. Well, the airport's a very stressful place. Uh, you know, you may be delayed several hours, you may be running late, and then, you know, you throw in some alcohol, and that's a recipe for disaster sometimes. But drunk passengers can also disrupt flights. Sir! This man tried to board a flight by opening the aircraft's door. You've been denied the getting on a flight. And rather than just leave, he escalated the situation. Have Whoa. a seat right here. Have okay. a seat right there. Let go of me. Have a seat right there. Let go of me. As he turns aggressively towards right. police, things go downhill quickly for him. Have a seat. That's my fine. Have, Have a seat. seat. You stay down. And he's arrested. But Vasquez says it didn't have to end like this. The vast majority of them, uh, the passenger gets rebooked, bring them back uh, landside, and uh, they get rebooked for a later flight. But when passengers delay flights, you tell me why I'm kicked off of this plane. The consequences can be severe. This man refused to leave a plane, and he ended up with several officers on top of him. And he did leave in handcuffs. Of course, they can be arrested, charged with disorderly intoxication. Sometimes those uh, disorderly intoxications rise to the level of assaulting a peace officer, which you, you don't want that. So here's what can happen if you do end up in handcuffs at the airport. You can be charged with being drunk and disorderly. If you hit the officer, like Chief Esquez just said, that's a felony charge. And if you escalate it from there, especially if you're getting onto an aircraft, the FAA can ban you permanently from ever flying on any airline again. Live at Tampa International Airport, Jeff Patterson, 8 on your side.